Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we have another stock breakdown video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you get anything in value, hit that like button and subscribe. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat, should you buy it? Should you stay away from it? What's going on with the company? Pretty much everything you must know before investing in Beyond Meat here. So for those of you that don't know what Beyond Meat is, Beyond Meat is a plant-based uh, meat company that was founded in 2009 and works with a variety of companies such as Starbucks, McDonald's to create a plant-based lifestyle for consumers. So the company itself is pretty interesting here. They have very high sales growth, uh, which is phenomenal. They have more cash on hand than debt, which is another, another good thing. They've had a good past return. You guys can see just by looking at this upward trend. Um, not to mention, it is a very, very popular stock. So some of the cons um, for this company is this company is not profitable yet, which tends to happen with startups. You know, it's very rare, to be honest, especially nowadays, to have a company that is profitable. So they're not profitable just yet. Um, they have no dividend, which startup... It's it's not common to find a startup that pays a dividend because they want to use all that leftover earnings and reinvest it right back into the business. Um, and a lot of people think it's overvalued uh, just from looking at the previous sales growth because it does have a market cap right around $9 billion. So breaking down the stock here, you guys can see it does have some resistance here at around $198. You guys can see it's hit it multiple times and we did get quite a bit of sell off here. Very hard support here though at around 120 to about 116 here. So with the stock being 129, that makes everything very interesting because you could get in on a pretty fair price for this stock, okay? So not to mention, let's talk about my opinion and on this company and pretty much my investment strategy. So with this stock being around $120 right now, you know, 129, that is a good investment right now because you could get in on an old support line, hold it for three to five years. And honestly, I really think that this sector as itself is going to continue to grow in general. People are only getting more and more reliable and dependent on companies like Beyond Me. You know, I've had and I currently, you know, eat their product and it's very, very good. And I think that is the main, um, you know, upseller with this company. So my investment strategy, well, I've been investing in it for about a year and a half now. So my average share price is right around 103, 110 bucks right in here. Okay, so I'm up a little bit on my return. But what I'm doing also is I'm investing every single month. So I'm still doing dollar cost averaging. I'm using Beyond Meat's volatility to my advantage. Okay, so anytime the stock falls or sells off more than four or 6%, I'm doubling what I normally would put in because I really think that this company carries a lot of potential. But with it being on a support line here, probably within the next couple of days, if we get more selling pressure, I think this would be a good opportunity to invest. I really think that getting in at around 120, all the way down to 116, hopping in on that support, setting stops here at 115, would be good investment strategy to, for, for the future. I, I'm super excited for what this company has. Like I said, they are working with me, McDonald's to create a McPlant. I think that is phenomenal. I'm really excited to see where this company goes in general. And so for me, I, I think that yes, this company does carry a little risk, but also quite a bit of reward. You know, they are the front runner right now in that plant-based industry. I think the upside potential is very, very large. So for me, it's a buy, but I still would recommend having a base of ETFs, blue chip stocks, bonds before you invest in Beyond Meat because it's still pretty volatile. Just by looking at the stock, it goes up and down at pretty rapid rates. So make sure you guys have a lot of those blue chip stocks and a lot of those ETFs because you know, you, you you don't want those swings in your portfolio here. So I'm super excited to see where this company holds. My 2021 price target is just a fair 180 bucks. So that's a $60 window here. Um, but before then, I do think it could hit about $110. So that's the volatility 
you know, with this company here. So guys, that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. That was another stock review. So for me, it's a buy. I'm super excited to see where this company goes, but I also understand that there's risk involved. So we'll see you later. Remember to stay happy, guys. Stay positive and stay safe out there. Take care.